Hi and welcome to Movies Remastered. Today I'm going to continue my Rise of Skywalker edits. Now there's a lot of people asking me about the other movies that I'm doing. Now I will do these in due course. You're going to have to be a little bit patient with me. I'm trying to do these videos one a week. Um, I'm trying to build this channel so I can get as many subscribers as possible. So, uh, you know, I can't do everything at once. So you're going to have to be a little bit patient. But in today's video, I want to continue the, the Rise of Skywalker. Um, so in my previous video, if you want to check the link, it's here. Uh, I was I was fi uh, fixing Claude and the um, TIE Fighter chase with the, the Falcon at the beginning. Uh, so I fixed that and now we go on over to the next scene which was Ray doing the meditation. Now I'm really gonna alter this scene. This is gonna be the first one I'm gonna try and change almost completely. Uh, I will explain a little bit more uh, in a minute. But I've decided to split this scene up into two. Um, now I wanna change the beginning of Rise of Skywalker completely. Um, I think the, the early stage of seeing Kylo Ren with the, the Wayfinder and going to Exegol um, I think it was too soon. Um, so I'm basically going to change the beginning and have Ray meditating, trying to reach out to Luke. Because at the end of my version of uh, The Last Jedi, Luke's alive. Um, and I'm going to do a different beginning for The Rise of Skywalker. So it gives Luke's death a little bit more meaning and it, it transitions better into Leia being uh, Ray's mentor and, and trainer. So if we go over to this scene. So you'll see that I'm in iMovie. I've had a lot of people saying, why am I not using um, Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro? I'm trying to teach people how to do this for, for free and really cheap uh, software, free software. Um, but I just want to show you that I can also do it in, in Premiere Pro. So here's the scene that I want to look at. Um, so this is, what happens is it transitions straight from the TIE Fighter scene into um, Ray meditating. And I really didn't like that transition. So I'm just gonna show you this. Jump, maybe forever. Hold on. So if you see that transition, it, it wasn't that good. So I'm gonna change that. Uh, and I'm also gonna cut halfway. So I'm just gonna show you what, I'm, what I mean, really. It's really hard uh, to explain. So this is now going to be the beginning of my uh, my cut. So we're going to go up to Ray, and we're going to see that she's meditating, trying to reach out. So I'm going to cut it just before she opens her eyes. So I'm not going to do the spoiler. I want to do this in another video. So that's the beginning of the movie. So now we're going over to this scene. So the scene actually transitions back into Ray having her eyes closed. And then um, obviously Leia gives her the, the lightsaber. And I find, I found it really almost condescending. Um, the way that Ray says this, watch this. So I'm cutting all of this bit out. The fact that she says they're not with her. She seems to have a bit of a tantrum. So I'm actually going to cut out the fact that she's trying to get the voices of the Jedi that have come before her. Because I really think this is one of the most poorly delivered expositions that I've ever heard. I just want to do that again. So her delivery of this, this line is, I think it's just really poorly executed. So then she says that, it almost like in disbelief and a little bit more, oh, oh thank you old granny, you know, whatever. So and then she gives it a lightsaber and smiles. And that seems, to me, it just, it just didn't, it didn't, uh, it didn't sit right with me, the way that she delivered those lines and the way that she treated Leia. Um, so I've gone, I've gone over to something different. It's taken me so long to edit this. I, I'm not even going to do a video on this because it, it took it took me so long. Um, 
if you want me to leave a leave a comment in the description uh, in the comments below and I'll, I'll i'll do a tutorial but it took so long to edit each individual piece you're probably not even going to notice the difference but it actually sits better with me so going over to my scene we're just going to show you the transition coming over from the claude scene uh look out for the um the uh, the circular transition it's a lot better i think so check it out Shelf, maybe forever hold on circular transition so it's gone into this um, forest scene so I've actually taken this from a, a natural history DVD that I've got to give you a bit more insight into where Ray is and the planet that she's on I thought it was just a nicer transition than going straight into to Ray meditate so remember the beginning of that scene is now at the beginning of my actual movie so it then just goes into a, her trying to um, reach out to Luke and instead of being frustrated that she can't uh, can't reach out to the thousands of Jedi before her she's just getting a little bit frustrated that Luke is now still turned himself off with the force and she can't reach him starting to think it isn't possible. Nothing's impossible. Nothing's impossible. So I'm not sure if you noticed the difference there, but she, let's go back. I'm gonna show you a few times because there's really subtle changes. So you don't see Ray come down from a meditative state. Um, you don't see the rocks fall or anything. I just thought that was a bit, bit lame. Be patient. To think it isn't possible. So at this, at this stage, Leia knows that Ray's trying to reach out to Luke. Um, now in my version, Leia's already had a discussion with Luke um, and she's kind of keeping that away from Ray. Uh, it's more secretive and more teacher, um, student kind of keeping secrets. So when she says there's nothing impossible, uh, nothing's impossible, she already knows that she's reached out to Luke and that she knows that Ray's going to be able to at some point in the movie. So instead of, of Ray saying nothing's impossible and, and um, delivering that line in a more patronising kind of downplay, um, she actually looks straight down at the lightsaber. Leia gives her the lightsaber and then. Ray realizes that anything could be uh, anything is possible if she carries on her training and becomes a Jedi. Nothing's impossible. So it makes it makes it feel like Ray is more believable at that point and it's less condescending. So let me let me go back to the beginning and I'll show you the old scene and my scene straight away without the commentary. Didn't like that tantrum. Terrible. So that's that scene, and then I'm just going to show you mine straight off the bat. There we go. So look out for the transition straight into the forest and nice subtle uh, cuts. Transition, forest. Ray, be patient. I'm starting to think it isn't possible. Nothing's impossible. Nothing's impossible. 
Now I personally think that's a little bit more endearing rather than condescending. And I just prefer that. I just love the way that it's more warmth in that scene now. Uh, and Leia's now handing her the lightsaber and saying that anything is possible if you become a Jedi. So, you know, hopefully you enjoy that scene. I, I personally find it is a lot better. Um, and I'm going to continue doing these. Now, you may have noticed that I, I changed the background music. Um, that's not what it's going to be like in my release. Again, I've had to uh, change the, the background music because of copyright on, on YouTube. So I know people are getting upset that you can't hear my clips, but it's the only way I can get around the copyright or hope to get around the copyright. It, it seems to change all the time. So if you like that video, click a like for me. And if you want to carry on my journey, don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to get a hundred so I can change my URL, which would be amazing if you could do that for me. If not, I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Take care of yourself and I'll see you again soon.